Hi, Crystal Wick at Art Beats Cafe here, where we are celebrating something a little bit different. Cynthia, I'm excited that we are celebrating the bubbly, the wonderful, <laughs> the fabulous sparkling cider! Yay! Yay. <laughs> and it ties in with wine charm. Yay! So, whether you're having wine or sparkling cider, it doesn't really matter. It just feels really fancy in a glass like this. <laughs> so, I thought we should decorate them. And I made up some of these lovely little wine charms using our memory wire. Nice. Really quick, mm -hmm. really easy, very colorful. So when you're having a party, you can do different colors and each guest gets to pick their favorite color. And you just place them around the glass like that. And there are so many options. So you can pick your favorite colors. I've done some breast cancer awareness wine charms over here. And I love the holiday wine charms where we have all kinds of different holiday celebrations. Look at that cute little ball right there. That's like a... A tree ornament and then snowflakes you could put the Swarovski snowflakes on the end of the charm also the little mittens there is that adorable oh it's love so them cute. and over here we have some beautiful hearts with Swarovski crystals of course and they come in different colors so mm -hmm. you can make all these beautiful colors and then I also thought on some of them I like to add the seed beads Oh. And we have these really great seed bead mixes. So right. there's all different kinds of seed beads mixed together mm -hmm. already. And you get a variety of colors without having to, well, I shouldn't say colors, but a color right. palette mm -hmm. that you get a wide variety of shapes and textures. So you don't have to buy all the different packages. They all come in one. And they make the greatest seed bead mixes. So That's those true. are a nice thing to add to this. Okay. And I saw that you have some that are open and some they are closed. Yes. And it kind of depends on, I don't know, it's a style thing, whether you okay. want it all the way opened mm -hmm. or, or, or you want it to close. Because either way it works, you just slide it on and off. Right. But a lot of times people have extra memory wire laying around because mm -hmm. they've made it for another project and they have scraps of it and so a lot of times I'll use the scrap memory wire that I have left over to make a wine charm because it's just barely enough and so if it doesn't fit all the way around mm -hmm. that's okay it still works or that's you can true. double it over and go around you mm -hmm. can even go around three times if you want oh that would be neat gorgeous yes. very very beautiful they're great gifts to make for your friends for the holidays great that's for holiday true. parties Cynthia, this is one of my favorite segments where it's Crystal Wix Picks and I get to share all my favorite things with you guys out there in beadland. Mm -hmm. And this time it is Breast Cancer Awareness Jewelry. Because yes. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so it's exactly. wonderful to make jewelry for all kinds of reasons. So fill us in. Okay, so we have some wonderful beads and also charms to use in your jewelry for breast cancer. Oh, look at that. And uh, for example, those are lamp oil beads and they have the breast cancer when it's sign oh, on it. And the little ribbon so and it's so tiny. That's adorable. Exactly, and I made this idea. So mixing the Swarovski beads and the lamp oil beads and it's a really cute little uh, bracelet. That is precious. Um, we have also some beautiful charms. Uh, some are uh, pink, enamel pink, and then um, silver plated. This nice. one has some uh, crystal. And as you can see here, you can make some very cute uh, pair of earrings and dangle the uh, breast cancer awareness uh, at the bottom. That's so great. The ribbons are everywhere and look at how yes. the enamel really pops that color on the ribbon there. Exactly, nice. Yes. Um, here you have a very cute idea also that Cherry made and it's a necklace and what she did is she stamped some words on this uh, donut tag there. Oh. And it's all about uh, breast cancer awareness too. That's a great idea. So inspirational words, you can stamp your own. You can customize it for somebody who's maybe a exactly. breast cancer survivor or something yes. like that. Oh, yes. that's great. Another great idea that I really like is those really cute clip-on. Those are cute. Yes. So you can put on your bag. You can put as a zipper pull. And um, I thought it was a great idea too to put on your running shoes. Oh, when you go on a race, right? You know? Oh, and if you had like a team or you're running with your girlfriends, you could all have matching. Exactly. Yes. That's a great idea. And I did another one that is bigger because I thought that would be great to put on a bag. 
Yes, we or love a backpack. Yes. Or, oh, that's wonderful. And I use those really beautiful Swarovski beads. They, the pink is those. so vibrant. It's so beautiful. Yes, it is. Yes. Oh, I love that. And the last idea that I want to talk about is this Caspia bracelet. Mm. So this is a memory bracelet. And as you can see, you have the bracelet here. You unscrew the end and you slide your beads. Oh. So, for example, you do one race and you want to remember about the race, you can do one bead and then you do another race, you can add another bead. That's or a great idea. Something special that you do did with your friend, add another bead. So it's like adding, a, like a, a, a make it as you go, so to speak, you add exactly. a bead for each race you did or something. Yes. Well, these are great ideas, mm -hmm. Cynthia. Thank you. Oh, perfect for breast cancer awareness. Lovely, Thank thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Cynthia, it's time for our beginner series where we're going to show them how to make things from beginning, the very beginning, from scratch. And yes. today it's necklaces. So yes. show us. Yes, and necklaces are more um, are easier than what people think. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. So this is a very simple necklace. So you use first um, jewelry wire, and I like to use the Zamba Pro medium clear. And I always talk about those bead stopper. <gasps> Mm -hmm. because that's so helpful you don't lose your beads when you string them and I add the clasp at the end I don't add the clasp at the beginning so you need something to stop your beads and the bead stoppers are the wonderful wonderful little tools yeah to every overcome. jewelry person should have a whole bunch of those right exactly mm -hmm. yes so after you string your necklace you want to use some cream tubes mm -hmm. and the cream tubes are so those little t tubes and you need a cream tool to be able to cream them. And we have on, a, on a, our learning center some handy tip how to use the cream tool. Oh, that's great. So you can just watch it over and over if you yes. need to, and yes. you can learn how to do a crimp properly. Because I think a lot of people get stuck on the crimp. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. It's easy, but at the same time, sometimes it's too overwhelming. Got it. Yes. Great. And then, when you're done with one necklace, you might want to add a little charm. Ooh. So it's very easy. Figure out where is the middle of your necklace and start to add the charm. So you put the charm on a jump ring, slide first your charm and then you bead around your charm. That's excellent. And the finishing is the same with the cream tube. Mm. Okay. And we do have those beautiful beads. Oh, those are my favorite. Know, yes. Hand painted, just gorgeous. Uh, they don't have a loop, so it's not a charm, and it's mainly a bead, but you can make them as pendant. And for that, you use a head pin. Nice. Okay. One thing that I will recommend is to slide first a spacer at the end mm -hmm. because the hole of the bead is sometimes too big. Mm -hmm. So your head pins will go right through. That's a really good tip that people don't always know about is add some kind of bead or something on the bottom of that head pin. Exactly. Great. And at the end, I like to do a wrap loop. Mm. And again, you can find direction and uh, how to make a wrap loop on the learning center Great. on our site. So those are really beautiful to work with. Yes, and that's really wonderful because any bead, anything with a hole in it actually, that's exactly. bead, you can make into a pendant. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Great. And then why not working with chain? Oh yes, of course. And we all love chain. On, on this case, I just put a bell on this mm. beautiful Swarovski pendant. Yes. And I use a very fun chain who has all those little round that's adorable yes. yes very playful so, exactly so don't use only one simple chain you can play with your chain and we have so many different designs oh, it's very I love fun it. to do yeah and it really sets off the black mm -hmm. exactly. of the pendant there Ooh. and um, the last one is just a simple chain with some charm and a big pendant in the middle this is really easy to do you just find where is the middle of your necklace, mm -hmm. add your big pendant with a jump ring. Okay, so same technique that you've been showing all along. Exactly. Right. And then you just add wherever you want the charm beside it. And oh. once in a while I take it, I put it around my neck and I see if the charms goes well together, if mm. everything is balanced. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can add or you can remove the charm if oh, you want. Oh, that's great. And it looks yes. elaborate. When you're wearing it, it's very, very fun, and there's a exactly. lot going on, but it's really easy to make. It's really easy. It's just oh. jump rings. Great. Yes. Well, this is great to teach everybody how to make all these different kinds of necklaces. Mm -hmm. yes. Thanks for sharing, Cynthia. You're welcome. This was really fun. We want to thank you 
for joining us on Art Beats Cafe, where we have all things beady and bubbly <laughs> to celebrate today. And we want to make sure that you are beaten happy.